I'm uh, Ludo Weikmans. I'm uh, the Enterprise Director for Multi Country Europe, which is 15 countries in uh, Central Eastern Europe, where we have teams where we are managing the, the business we do with the larger enterprises. We are living in exciting times, very exciting times, because there are a lot of exponential uh, transformationing a transformation uh, scenarios happening at the same time the evolution of the technology you know the warming of the of, of, of the planet and the digital globalization and that all combined at the same time is uh, putting forces in play that start to influence heavily our economy and our society at the, at the same time it gives a lot of opportunities uh, both to, to companies and to governments to transform and it goes very very fast as we observe it today why well, we have you know not everybody is the same you know and that's the beauty of it you know you have the, the the fast movers you have the fast followers and you have the laggards right so everybody is is is, is handling this at their own page however because the transformation goes so fast that the laggards have to be careful that they are not you know they then all die right because in in the economy that's the way it it it, it goes um, on the other hand uh, it's it's a collaborative collaborative process right we don't pretend that we know everything because we don't uh, the customers know their business better than we do uh, but it's the interactivity between us the the customer and the, and the, the microsoft ecosystem that brings those those type of creative processes together a world leading company uh, started in in scandinavia uh, pretty well known in their category in producing high and manufacturing machines to produce all type of tools um, and actually what we what what, what, what um, uh, Sandvik has done with us together with with uh, with partners is 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 um, um, actually integrating the data that we capture via internet of things transform that into online data information that then is coupled linked to the CRM system so that we on the fly can inform the customers on where they can optimize their processes, react faster, change certain parameters in certain settings. And because of that, then they can uh, produce better, higher quality, faster, reducing cost, uh, avoid disruption or even uh, avoid, let's say, type of breaking of, uh, of machines. And that helps really the customer First of all, to have a much stronger quality interaction with the custom, with their customers, um, and on the second hand, they optimize their own cost structure as well. So it, it has advantages on the different edges. To put it this way is that uh, Microsoft, with their partner ecosystem, wants to help the customer in different areas to be closer with their customers, to optimize their business processes, to create new services, new products. And what we would like to do is to help customers to achieve that, right? And be part of that process, being part of that journey, um, so that we can build for them a much stronger and a better business. It's a combination of, of, of different elements, because, you know, you could say at, at, at a certain um, extent, there is, you'd say, an, a, a gap in knowledge, uh, in, in um, uh, high educated and specialized resources. Um, we're talking a lot about Internet of Things, big data. So uh, data scientists are, you know, it's the, it's the new job, but we need thousands of them. Because turning data into information, that's all about what's happening now. Because the value of information becomes so important, but therefore you need people that understand the business and, and know how to handle big data. So, um, uh, Say the, the knowledge gap is it's 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 one thing. Um, it's it requires in certain cases uh, quite some investment. But most important is the mindset, uh, is the development of the mindset. So if the culture is not there, if there is no growth mindset, then it's pretty hard. Even if you have the resources and you have the funding, without the right culture and the right, right mindset, then it's hard to then it's hard to establish those type of transformations. I think it has to do with the, with human behavior. You know. If we don't wake up with the with with the feeling that, or we have to run fast to be the first, or if we don't run, we're gonna be be eaten by somebody else. Yet yeah, then you're stuck into the into, into the middle and you do nothing. And doing nothing today in whatever industry you are, even in the public sector, it's it's dangerous because the society and economy is moving so fast. So everybody has to evolve one way or another, and the future will prove that the ones that are you know 
observing a lot, have the right culture, the right, the right mindset, and taking at the, at the right moment the right initiatives, that they will succeed moving forward. And the, the, the cycles are becoming so short. You know, look at companies that were big five years ago that even don't exist anymore. Uh, and there are multiple examples of that. And nothing is written in stone because in five to ten years from now, super successful companies today, it's, it's possible that they will not exist anymore because we need to reinvent ourselves each time. Microsoft as well. I think Microsoft is a good example that we also had to transform and to reinvent ourselves because the cycles are becoming so short. The market today is not the same as five years ago and today it's different than it will be in five years from now. We have so many things still to do, right? Uh, early today I asked in the audience how many people do have an, uh, an electrical car or a hybrid car. There was just one person in the audience. So that means there's huge potential, right? Um, so that's, that, that's one thing. What we will talk about next year, I think it's, it's hard to say, but uh, what we already see today is that the transformation that has started, and as I said in, uh, earlier, it's, it's going exponential. Right? So that means that the results of this transformation will be much more visible next year and the year after. And will be, if we're looking further than five years from now, multiple times bigger than, uh, than, than it is in the short run. And if I can make the comparison, you know, in, in, in the 80s, beginning of the 80s, the IMPC, IBM PC came to the market. Um, and look at what the, what the PC has, has generated as, 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 a, you know, as an effect on the total uh, IT industry. I think what we observe today um, with, with the technologi technological evolution, um, uh, and particularly the cloud computing, um, it's very clear that that effect on our society and economy in five to ten years from now is going to be multiple times bigger than what we have seen with the PC. And by the way, if we are looking towards the cloud, we are at the start of like in 84 when we had the start of the PC. So that means the big effect still needs to come. And you start to see the first things already about that. I, I think it has nothing to do with the size of the market or the size of a country. Uh, there are small countries that are exceptionally strong in certain areas. I think that it's important that, that in certain economies that they need to define what do they offer to the world bazaar, to the world market. Look at Finland, has been very successful in certain areas for many years. Okay, had troubles to reinvent themselves, but they are catching up again. Um, so it's not the size of the country or the economy that defines the, the, let's say, the growth potential. It's the mindset. And it's the mindset, the culture that decides, you know, if it's going to be a success moving forward and also is going to decide in which, at which speed this is going to happen. Um, and there, I think, collectively, in, in, in every country, um, you know, uh, in the academic world, the politicians, the, the economical leaders, they all have to play a role to create that, that mindset. Uh, otherwise, you stay behind and it means that your society is going to suffer and, 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 and it's going to create less uh, welfare for, for, for everybody than in, in, in other countries where they have a more dynamic uh, growth mindset. We need to start at, uh, at, at all levels at the same time. There is no time to do it se in, in sequences. We need to do it all at the same level. So, you know, even people with my age, 50 plus, we are not too old to change and to transform. We can do that as well. But I agree, education plays an important role at young age, but at all different ages, and it all needs to happen at the same time, not one after the other. <laughs>